This week, we are going to be talking about something super fun. I can't like, <laughs> I've been so excited to do this um, because I think we all need a little, little break sometimes from work. And, um, but we still have video calls. We still have, um, you know, some folks are going back to the office. And I thought we would talk about fashion and how we should dress for work and dress for our video calls. And I couldn't think of a better person to talk to about this topic than Miss Hannes Hussey. So please join me in welcoming her. Everyone, please welcome Ms. Hannes Hussey, <laughs> former fashion model, modeling agency owner, fashion show producer, and personal stylist. Hannes, welcome to the show. I can't wait to chat with you about all this fun stuff. Fanny, thank you so much for inviting me. It's such an honor to for be- For sure. Like when you told me about, oh, I would like to have you on LinkedIn. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I mean, like, it, it, was, it was just nerve-wracking to, like, yeah. be on here. But now, we do need to give a quick shout-out, actually, to Lindy Chapman, because yes. Lindy introduced us to each other. Lindy Chapman, I, I call her the connection queen. Oh, she yeah. seems to know everyone. She's always connecting people she knows. So hopefully Lindy's in the uh, comments somewhere. But uh, big shout-out to Lindy for introducing us. That's but Hannes, tell us about your career. How did you get from modeling to, you know, fashion show producing to now personal stylist? Give us Texas, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> well, you started in Singapore, right? I know. That I was born and raised in Singapore and I was, um, I won this modeling competition, a contest in Singapore. And the first prize was a ticket to Paris. And wow. I was my dreams at 16 years old. Yeah. I was in Paris and I worked with- There you uh, are. Yes. At the right time, I worked for uh, an amazing fashion designer. Of course, you guys would know Yves Saint Laurent. Oh, I worked yes. for two years. And then I worked for Givenchy for another two more years. And I lived in Paris for at least in and out 15 years altogether. Wow. And it's, wow. Look at you. Look at those gorgeous pictures of you. <laughs> you know, I want to look like that again. But hey, you know what? I was really, really, look at me. It was like anorexic, totally. <laughs> all those clothes. And this, this, you were on the cover of Time magazine. Tell us yeah. about that. I was very fortunate because um, that was uh, um, right at the end of my career uh, in 1997, early 1997. And Time Magazine was looking for a girl, a model to uh, photograph for the cover. And, yeah. and at that time I was, I was kind of semi-retired because I was on my third child. I was actually, oh my gosh. I was, when, when wow. they photographed me on this. On this uh -huh. Oh on my gosh. Yeah. So <laughs> well, and I was like, no, I can't mm. it. you know, I'm, I, I'm pregnant now. I said, no, no, we don't care about the bo that bottom half of your body. We only want your face. <laughs> but there it is, you know. I love I it. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So how did you get from that to you had your own agency as well, right? Modeling yeah, agency? I retired from running around the world from Paris to Germany to Italy to Japan, you know, mm. settled down because I settled down back in Singapore because my husband was like, listen, you have three kids at home and you're <laughs> running around the world you're <laughs> running on, you know, in, in runways of the world. So right. I decided to retire and came back. To Singapore and raise my kids, and that's when I started my own modeling agency in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. This is home. Like I'm based there, so I can be with the kids, be with right. the family. So yeah, from modeling agency, um, I started doing. Uh, I became a buyer for a lot of stores in Singapore, and then I started doing my own fashion show. I choreograph shows. I train wow. models. Um, yeah, and then boom, kids grow up. Yeah, it's time to move. Yes, and then. Now you're a men's fashion stylist, right? That's right. So I, I continue. I love fashion. Fashion is my passion. You know, yes, I, absolutely. I, I came when I arrived in Texas about, I went Dallas about four years ago. I decided to continue my fashion um, 
uh, work. And I wanted a challenge. I didn't want to do women's fashion anymore. I want to go something a little different. So I went into yeah. men's fashion. And I love it. I loved it. Oh, awesome. Sorry, ladies. I mean, I love you guys too. <laughs> Oh, I love it. So everyone in the audience, Hannes Hussey, definitely connect with her and um, you'll find her on LinkedIn. So one of the things that we talked about is, you know, LinkedIn, obviously. And for me, I think one of the most important things is the profile picture of someone, right? You kind of get a feel for the person and um, I think it creates a connection immediately. So we talked about the importance of profile pictures and um, you had a really cool trick of how to take profile photos with your yeah, smartphone. Exactly. I mean, during this time, um, Fanny, it's it's kind of hard to go outside to find yeah, a photographer. We can't really go to a photography yeah. studio. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can't go to the studio. So I've taught a lot of people how to do their own uh, simple profile photos by using your own smartphone. Yeah. So the thing is, invest, I mean, like, what you're going to have to do is you got to have and invest on a little stand. Okay. You know, uh, for, the, for the camera phone. I mean, for the phone, right? An iPad, uh, a tripod. And yeah. you, when you buy that, it will always come with a little remote. Ah, yes. Yeah. And then sometimes they even come with a little light just in case ah. you're going to take photos in, in, in the evenings. But my advice is to take photos during the day, like now. Yes. And when we take a photo, it's always important to use the natural light as much as you can. Mm -hmm. The beauty of natural light, it just it's it's so gorgeous when you actually take a photo. So if so let's say we're gonna put this, let's say this camera right there. I'm looking at it. This is my camera phone right now. Yes. If you don't have a remote, what you can do, that's the trick to it. Remember these guys? Yes, yes, for so sure. You can actually hook it to your um smartphone. And by using this little speaker gadget that is on, that accepts a remote. So once you have your phone set up to however you want uh, your profile picture, your profile. So your, when you set it up, it should be a little higher than eye level. So you don't want to take a picture from below because you're going to get all your chin and double chin and all the <laughs> Yes, we don't want that. <laughs> yeah, so when you just put it up, just above the eye level and then click away with that ah, just start clicking and then I it love will that tip open. yes Try, because not a lot of people know of this gadget yes oh brilliant I've done, tip i've done a lot of these photos by myself if you see the photos that i've done finally, yes let's and, share uh, that yeah. so hannes so these are all taken with your smartphone yes it oh, is oh my goodness look I mean, at that I'll be sitting there clicking away, you know, <laughs> like, oh, I do, like in Paris. And like, oh, Once a model, always a model. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the that. other tip that I would like to share with everybody. So when, when you're sitting in front of your camera, your smartphone, yes. um, if you could see a lot of the profile, it's only one that I did, which is straightforward, but it's, it's best that you will turn a little profile. Okay. You know, flat front forward. Yeah. Profile a little bit and look at the camera, so you get a little bit oh, more. Does it matter what <laughs> what yeah. side I go to? Anyways, <laughs> just a little, a little profile. Just a then little side, okay. You okay. Look at the wide, you know. Ah. And you know, there, it it kind of slims everything down a little. Well, and we all we all want that. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh I, okay. That's. I, should I just do the whole show like this? Yes, yes exactly. Look at that. There's a it does make a difference. Yes. I think it does make me look. I love that tip. Okay, so folks, use your smartphone, use that little remote on your headphones, and then go to and the side light. a little bit and then use look the for light. natural light. Yeah, look awesome. for the light. Yeah. Great advice. Thank cool. you. Yeah. And along the way, everyone in the audience, Hannes has actually brought five prizes. So make sure you gather all your questions because we are going to be giving away some prizes for those that ask questions. So as you watch the show, think of questions that you can ask Hannes around fashion, styling tips, even just how to, you know, get your photograph taken. And uh, 
drop those in the comments and uh, we'll be picking five winners at the end of the show. So make sure you ask some questions. Yeah. Awesome. So one of the things that um, we're doing a lot of right now is video calls, right? Yeah. We're, mm -hmm. we're stuck at home. Um, right. Even for me, when I'm recruiting, I'm doing video interviews. And uh, you had some great tips for women and men. Don't worry, we'll get to you next. But for <laughs> women, right, when it comes to video calls and interviews and just general Zoom videos, what are some of your do's and don'ts? What are mistakes that you see people making? And what's some of your advice that you have around that? Well, some of the uh, mistakes that I see um, sometimes women do is wearing big, chunky jewelry like these, you know? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> yes. Let me get the chunky ones. Oh, so my gosh. Yes. Hear, when you're in a Zoom call trying to, you know, do a video with somebody or trying to, like, like an interview like this. Yeah. A lot of attention is like, you know, falls on whatever is standing out on you. I want you to focus on what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, not to my jewelry, not anything else. Just look at my lips and listen to what I have to say. Yeah. 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 So that's the focus that we want the the audience to look at. So take away that chunky stuff, wear something dainty or very small. Um, yes. Oh, the other thing, no, no, is the big designer label splash. Yeah in front of your chest because I yes. know it's nice to wear designer labels saying that yes you know I'm wearing Chanel or whatever yeah yeah Maybe to wear it yes but you know don't don't do that don't don't wear that logo um avoid wearing big prints and patterns mm -hmm. yeah, just agree busy yeah um, and um especially shirts or tops that are a little wrinkled okay you know? Iron it out. Yes. Um, ladies that wear button down tops, you know, make sure they're not too tight because when they're a little tight, you know, kind of the button, kind of uh, the space in between the buttons open up a li little yeah. bit and it's yeah. not true. Yep. The other thing is, um, oh, avoid those plunging necklines, you know, like. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> not, not for an interview. <laughs> yeah. So um, avoid those kind of plunging line, low cuts. And oh, the other thing is avoid, try try not to wear your gym clothes whenever you're on a Zoom call. Absolutely. You know, you go exercise and then you, you're like, I don't have time to shower, whatever, I'm going to jump on. And then, yeah. you know, especially when they have the hat on. You know, oh, I know. Hat, yes. You know. yes. No, 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 right? No hats, please. No hats, no gym clothes. So yeah, yeah. so that's um, basically it. Awesome. Yeah, actually, Karen was also mentioning, she said she agrees, don't wear anything busy. She was on a call with higher management. No one had patterns. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Um, oh. And then, oh, here, we're already starting to have questions come in, Hannes. He <laughs> um, says, oh, I wear a tie for in-person presentations and interviews, but not for webinars always a jacket. What are your thoughts on that for a gentleman? Do you think oh. they need to wear ties? For oh, not at all. I mean, the trend now is so trendy. It's so much youthful. When mm. you take throw away that tie, you yeah. know, come on. You can yes. always wear a tie, you know. So I think um, a gentleman looks uh, a lot more, you, do you say charming? The word charming or attractive? Yeah, yes. Yeah, wearing a, a blazer with a uh, a shirt with no tie. Yes. I like that look. I like that on my husband anyway. So yeah, agree. Yeah. So, well, awesome. I, I have a, um, I have a, there it is. I just want to show you like, you know, yes. without a tie, you know, so. I love that color of that blazer. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes. I want to show you. Yeah. Um, so Awesome. Yeah. We also had a, oh, when you were talking about women's fashion, right? Like, what are the best colors you think for interviews? We got that question from Monica. Yeah, I believe that, you know, try to wear color as neutral as possible that complement your skin tone. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, like, don't wear something too striking. Don't wear bright yellow or luminous, you know, just... Mm -hmm. Wear something. If you're in doubt, think of the what's the color of your eye. 
Mm. Compare that to the color of your eyes. Wear something close to that color that will complement you. That's the easiest way to find colors that will suit you. Oh, wow. I like yeah. that tip. Yes. Yeah. So start with your eyes. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Because you can't change the color of your eyes. You can change yeah. your hair. Okay. You can yeah. Look at that. We're just, see, everyone loves this topic. <laughs> Chuck's like, <laughs> He's, Chuck says, Hannes, I'm 5'7", love stylish clothes. Uh, my normal work networking style is jeans, shirt, and sport jacket. Also yeah. love boots. What do you recommend for today's style for a guy like me? Okay, he wears jeans, shirt, and sports jacket. That's I love that when a man yeah. of the sport coat with the jeans. But mm -hmm. be sure that the jeans is not those ratty jeans or faded jeans. <sighs> Or rip jeans. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Well, I can I vouch for you, Chuck. You don't wear ripped jeans. <laughs> don't wear ripped jeans. And don't wear jeans that are baggy. Mm -hmm. Man, whoever, I wish I could rip those pants off, jeans off somebody walking on the street when they wear baggy pants, you know? Yeah. yeah. to be nice, fitted, and slim looking. You want to, if you're 5'7 and you want to wear pants, make sure that it's the slimming looking pants, not the baggy ones. Awesome. Good tip. And we're going to go into some, um, some diagrams as well. Hannes brought all kinds of great diagrams. Oh, yeah. but before we get into that, look at this. This is <laughs> where we have lots of questions. We're going to have lot. We're going to have to do a draw, Hannes. I think we're going to have to do a draw. But this okay. one, this is a good question. Um, someone asked, what about bald people with light that reflects off our head? Okay. So what I do we do with lighting around that? <laughs> because I think a lot of the times when I do video calls, the light is like right at the top of that yes. head. That's where you get that shine from. Yes. So move away, move to a place where you don't have that direct light underneath your head. Okay. You want the light to be coming from the front, not from the top. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then otherwise you're going to get like shadows underneath Correct. as well. You get yeah. all that shadow yeah. underneath. Yeah. 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 I hope that helps. Yes. Good tip. Um, and then let's see. Okay, if you don't have a iPhone 10 and can't plug that into your phone, um, mm -hmm. any other suggestions to take photos if you live alone? Hmm. Remote. Remote. Oh, you know what? Also, for those of you, if you don't even have a remote or that plug-in, um, use the timer. There's yes. a timer on smartphones for photos. So like on the iPhone, I don't have an Android, but on the iPhone, um, it's like a three second timer and a 10 second timer, yeah. right? So they can that. use that and then run back and pose. Well, I, that's what I just like that because you keep running back and forth to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. So when you have a remote, it's so easy to click, 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 you know, and just move, move as much as you take about 50 photos and pick one good one. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, oh, for some of the women in there, is a jacket necessary, you think, for women in interviews? Or is just a simple, nice blouse? What about black? Too much? Um, it depends on what kind of interview it is that you're doing. Mm. Um, I've always, I love jackets. I mean, like for me, I'm a suit yeah. girl. I'm a pants and a jacket kind of suit matching um the whole thing has to match and I'm that kind of girl. And as much as I can, whether it's interview or whether it's going out to lunch, that's all I would wear. I highly recommend jackets. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, make sure that those jackets fit you well. Yeah. Or awesome. something that moves and it will make you look a lot bigger than you are. Yes, a fitted jacket, right? With like yeah. the, what, what are those things called? That like, is it darts? The one that like- yeah, Darts, yeah. Darts, that's right? That yeah. can alter to your size, yeah. Awesome. Um, before we get to the men, let's get through some of the women because I know we, we have several, uh, we have a lot of advice for men coming up. Um, but Debbie had a question about makeup tips for okay. headshots. Okay. What are some of your makeup tips for headshots? Okay, here's the thing about makeup. Makeup is to enhance your beauty. You're beautiful already. Yeah. So makeup enhance it, but how do you, how much makeup do you put on? Especially, you don't have to look like someone else. A lot of people said, oh my God, that celebrity looks awesome with this makeup. I want to look like her. You don't have to look like her. You know, you mm -hmm. got to look the 
like yourself as natural as possible because once a profile photo is done and if you have so much makeup on oh my goodness it doesn't even look like you anymore and when you actually go on on on, on, on a video call the guy will say wait is that you are you sure <laughs> you know what i mean yeah you know, i find that really um i find a lot of that on um uh, name cards of a lot of people that have a name card and they have the photo there. Yeah. They do the photo and then uh, they have a name card with photos on. And a lot of times those photos probably is 10 years ago. Yes. That is, and it doesn't even look like them anymore. So guys, you know, we gotta keep up. And if you have yeah. an updated photo for updated. sure. Yes. Every year. <laughs> Anything for specifically for like eyes or lips in terms of makeup? Um, Any do's and don'ts for eyes and yeah, lips? I, I say avoid red. Mm. Uh, you are a, a lot darker than you know, a lot darker than me. But mm. as much as you can, wear something a lot more natural on you. You know, everything has to look natural because yes. the, you're beautiful the way you are. You know I that. Yeah, yeah. So you got you hear that, ladies? Okay, go for the natural look. Um, I think one more question before we get to the men's section. Elizabeth also asked, what kind of ring light or backlight or spotlight should you purchase as an option to natural light? Yeah. So I, um, the set that I actually bought for the phone, it comes with the ring light, uh, wherever it is. Is that brand, whatever it is? Oh, wait, uh, where? A little over. There you go. Yes. Yeah. So it, this is the miniature version of it. It clips yeah. on phone just like that but they have the big ring lights too so yes really i don't have mine turned on today but i have a ring light wow. over here yeah so you can buy these this one i think was only 30 or 40 dollars and this is oh, travel wow. size yeah wow. so this is travel size i also have like a big ring light and that one's much bigger that one's probably two hundred dollars but today i didn't even have any lights like the afternoon sun i, I feel like i'm actually whitewashed i'm almost too <laughs> bright here <laughs> i can't it's the sunlight it's the window it's beautiful yeah. hey, this is what we should enjoy this i don't even have any lights here this is the big window in front of me too yeah so so, yeah. so I, I love this. I love all these questions. This is wonderful. Um, so one of the things, so nowadays you style men, right, yeah. Hannes? And uh, you had a whole bunch of like great tips and even photos that you brought for my audience of do's and don'ts for men. Yeah. So let me switch to that because I am so excited to see and have you share some of these tips. Yeah. I hope my husband's watching. <laughs> I told them to watch this segment. <laughs> uh, but uh, so this is the do's and don'ts. Please help us understand better. So okay. let's start with this. Oh. Are you able to see it, Hannes? Uh, let I, me hear. OK, here we go. Oh, OK. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Here's yeah. a picture of a man with a shirt, a business shirt before and after the first photo with a before shirt, a before photo, you could see that this guy, look how much more heavier he is with all that extra fabric on him, because this shirt is not custom. This shirt is uh, bought off the rack and usually off the rack clothes are meant for the messes, you know? Mm. So you're going to have to, uh, a lot of people, there's always a flaw somewhere that a guy would buy a shirt and said, oops, the sleeves are too short. So I'm going to go one size bigger because I want to, I want to get that sleeve to fit my length. Yeah. So they get one size bigger and you see all that shirt uh, fabric that's, that's there in uh, the terminology that we use for this extra fabric. It's called shirt fat. <laughs> shirt fat. <laughs> Love it. And yes. Fat. So you have all that shirt fat that's hanging yeah. around your body. You got to take it away. So once you take that away, look at the second picture. Look yes. How, how much it's a more beautifully cut shirt. Beautifully cut shirt. Yes. Yeah. So awesome. that's why this is what happens when you get off the rack and custom clothing. Because everything okay. has to be to your measurement. Here's another example of a shirt that's a little too tight. How do you know your shirt is tight? You can see... When you wear it, you see all these wrinkles appear in front of your um, in front of your shirt. That wow. means you're too tight. So this is too tight. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because it's, it's stretching, right? When you button yeah. it. 
pulling, mm-hmm. it's pulling somewhere. Uh, yeah. It doesn't do well. Maybe the shoulder or the back. Yeah, it's just pulling. That's not a good shirt. So right. you gotta- and this lays so nicely flat. Yeah. Yes. yes. What okay. about these? Example of a guy that's. Um, I think he just wants people to know he has a lot of muscles. <laughs> he has a lot of muscles, and there's a lot. This is the common problem that all these kind of guys have because they're, they're a lot bigger on the, at the chest, you know, and the arm. Yeah. So they buy a shirt, and so again, he will probably have to buy the shirt a little bit bigger. But however, the shirt always falls short. You yeah. know, in the length, you could see if he lifts his arm, that yeah. shirt lifts his arm any higher, you will see his belly. So, again, the shirt, they are too short. Yes. The shoulders is too small. And then the arms there, it's just too tight. And then the, the middle shirt, the middle shirt that you could see, again, that is the point where you could see it's still a little too short. How do you know that you have a good length shirt? It's when the shirt hits the bottom of your zipper. That means ah, it's- okay, right there. Yes. Okay, so that's a good tip. Yeah, you know the shirt is a good length when it hits the bottom of your pant zipper. Zipper, yeah. Love so that. when okay. so you when you tuck this in, you know you won't have a problem. You know when you lift your hand up, you know it will not come out. Got it. Yeah. Okay. What about right. jackets? We had some questions about jackets earlier. Well, here's the thing. The first jack, the first picture, it shows you how a jacket should fit perfectly on a man. And then yeah. second picture, it's just too small there. It's a little too tight. And you see all those wrinkles and those mm. uh, creases. And when it's too big, you have that bunching at the back where there's a neck roll. Yeah. And you can see the bunching on the sleeve too. That, that's, right that's, here. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It's definitely pulling all along here, right? Yeah. It is. All right. Here is again. Uh, again, when you wear a jacket, it should fit properly. It should be tapered to your neck. You could see where your shirt ends. It should uh, be close there. Yes, so right here. Jacket, it's standing away. Yeah. And then the other one, that's called when it's bunching together again. That's called a neck roll. So that is, you know, you got to alter that. You got to take that in. Oh my gosh! All these terms: shirt, fat, neck roll. <laughs> Hey, I got some more. It's, it's, it's awesome. So yeah. those those guys in my audience right now, hope you're taking notes. Yeah, they're gonna go. Do I have the shirt? I hope my husband's taking notes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else. Ah, okay. jacket Here's closure. Closure. So usually a jacket has two buttons, three buttons, but the the regular, uh, in general, a lot of the men wear a two button jacket. And when you button your jacket, you don't button both. You only button one. Ah. So when you sit down, you got to unbutton your jacket. Okay. Don't sit down with a button jacket. You got to unbutton your jacket when you sit down. When you stand up, you button only one, not two. Ah. Oh, I remember you You told me once, like, uh, what was it? Top, middle, and bottom? Like, if there yeah. was three, what was that saying you had? Yes, the, the top is, what is it? Always closed or something. Always closed. I, can't, I can't. That was the terminology for the women that I did. I can't remember that. See how I forget about the lady. <laughs> so the top is the one we should always close. Yes. Then, then the bottom is the one that we can open. Okay. Um, yeah, it always. You just leave it open, even though when you're walking, it should be left open. Ah, okay. Yeah. There you oh, go, guys. Remember that. So when you see. Yeah. Okay. And then here you go. All right. Uh, the length of your jacket, where should it touch? How do you know your jacket length is long enough or too short or too long? It should, you see where your thumb is? Yeah. The middle mm-hmm. of your thumb is where your jacket should end. Right here. Okay. okay. Yeah. The first one. You see, if it goes Yeah, smash- just a little past it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, I like this tip. I've never heard of this tip. So, and then it's too short if it's, if it's it, way this is almost at your wrist, basically, right? Yeah, yeah. It had it should have enough to cover your seat, seat okay. as in your rear end. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh my gosh, I remember these long jackets. <laughs> is it back yeah. in the '90s when the jackets were so long? Oh, well, my husband used to have them. Is like, oh wow, Ooh. <laughs> yes. And then what about uh, 
Jacket yeah. sleeve length. Sleeve length. So you see here, the sleeve length of the jacket should show a little bit of your shirt inside. A lot of times people think that you should, that that jacket should cover your shirt. No, the jacket should not cover your shirt yeah. completely. You should show at least a quarter or half an inch of that shirt. Okay. Jacket when you wear a jacket. When you sing, yeah. when you, too much of it is too short. And then when you don't see it, it's just too long. So make sure your sleeve uh, length is um, at that right, that, that side. Yeah. And I actually like, it looks nice with that little pop of white against like oh, yeah. a darker jacket, right? It's gorgeous. Yes. It looks really, really good. Okay. Okay. Keep on gathering your questions, folks, as we go through this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, sleeve is, pitch. What is sleeve yeah, pitch? When the sleeve that's too much is too wide of the sleeve, you oh, can right see, here. Yes, there's so much of that bunching going on where your sleeve don't fit you because it's just too big for you. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So again, all this, when you buy off the rack, yes, you will probably run into these kind of issues. So you got to get them altered and yeah. spend a lot of money doing it. And it's funny, like, uh, now that you point all these things out, I guess yeah. when I look at a guy in a jacket, um, I never think about all these details. I just think, oh, it looks a little frumpy or, oh, man, mm -hmm. that fits so well. But I yeah. guess that's the difference between off the rack and custom. Yes. Correct. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's talk yeah. about the seat, the rear. <laughs> Uh, here's the seat. You can see when you, your pants fit well, they sit well on your waist and it covers everything and it's very comfortable. When yeah. you see pants that has, you know, that has a lot of crease there, well, you can tell that it's just not the right size because the seat is just, is too, uh, yeah. too tight, you know, on the yeah. seat. The other one is, is a lot of, uh, super bunchy. <laughs> But when you start seeing all those screes do coming down from the back, it's just not pretty. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yes, for sure. I know. Now I have walking around, and you have to notice all this from the <laughs> guys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> us ladies look okay. <laughs> um, okay, so, trousers. Yeah. Okay, here's another term that you're gonna learn: the break. What's a break? That's that crease on your pants at the bottom. Ah, that's called. Okay. That's the perfect break there. For your Got top, oh, top. so like it's a little break then, yeah, it's so oh, tiny. Okay. okay, so when you have it's too short, it's just dangling too high up. Yeah. But somehow these days, the modern trendy yeah. uh, millennials, they love their pants up high like that. Yes, I've yeah. seen that. I don't quite understand that. And then oh. they won't have socks, but they'll have dress shoes with socks. Yes, or yeah. No socks and dress shoes. And then no. like the <laughs> pants go to the ankles. Tell me about that. Why? <laughs> they actually have hidden uh, socks underneath. They wear that uh, you know, low cut socks. Okay. But the pants has to be a lot taper than that. It has to be a lot slimmer than that. Because with this width, it's just dangling. It just looks like he's waiting for the flood. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, you can have that look, but you just got to have it tapered down a lot more than that. God. Yeah. yeah. I, I still can't quite get used to, and I guess I'm probably showing my age. I can't quite get used to seeing a guy with like tapered pants. That's, <laughs> but I've oh, seen people wear them. Um, yeah, guys yeah. wear them. But, okay. The millennials love them. Yeah. And the last picture is when you have too much break, when your pants is too baggy and too long. This is yeah. what. And yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, there's, a, there's a lady, Fanny, uh, that says she likes that new trend. So yeah. <laughs> to, that's why we have all the different styles, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, here, here we go. Example of explain all this. Yeah. So when you want, again, remember you said um, you're not used to having those guys wear pants that are so slimming looking or mm -hmm. really tapered. So or the tapered. second photo, you could see that it's been slimmed down. It's been tapered down. So it looks, look at the difference. Yeah. You know, it looks so much nicer. It looking really at does. Yes. That, yeah. And you can yeah. see the picture after that, you could see how baggy it is. Yes. Not really baggy. There's a lot of men that like classic, the classic look. They still prefer this wide, yeah. white leg pants. But the guys these days, you know, I, I try to, you know, 
convert my husband into wearing slimmer pants. Uh huh. And he keeps saying, I'm an old man. I don't need <laughs> Has your conversion been successful? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not, it, we we kind of go in between. We kind of like. The compromise. <laughs> compromise halfway there. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So summarize it for us. Yeah. If I can read this, wear a nice white undershirt, guys. Uh, this is a do every time. Purge or rebuy frequently. Oh, this is meaning like the undershirt tank? I Yes, the, the shirt under your shirt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wear wear an undershirt. It's just a lot nicer. Yeah. And like a lot more hygienic, you know. And plus, um, the, the other one, match your belt with your shoes. Mm. Yes, yes. In the shoes. So care properly for your garments. That means when especially shirts, business shirts, I uh, our shirts, uh, we don't recommend uh we don't recommend our customers to send them for dry cleaning because it just destroys really you should have it laundered oh tell me the difference why when you dry clean that's chemicals being used on mm. the fabric so you want your shirts to last a long time okay don't wash them you okay. know how dirty can a shirt be you're just going yeah. to the office and coming home right yeah yeah. So just launder it and then have it pressed versus yeah. dry cleaning and Correct. starch. Got yeah, it. no starching. Yeah, don't start okay. colors. Yeah, and then accessorize your um uh, your jacket. Put a little square pocket in there just oh, to. Oh yes, I love from, guys with pocket squares. Yes, yes. Some people even wear boutonniere. You know, they just mm -hmm. wear the flower mm -hmm. there. So just just to make it a little trendier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And these um, days I do notice like the the guy could be in like very solid colors, very conservative, but yeah. then they'll see a, you'll see a little pop of color yeah. in their socks, right? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. the socks is where they get creative and yeah. kind of like fun, right? Yeah. I've seen that style. Yeah, so that's when you got to taper your pants down a little bit so that you can mm. put your pants, you know. I mean like your 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 socks, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell me about this colors. What do you mean by wear colors? Um, you know, it's not always when you wear when you see guys wear uh, a suit, it's not always black. Why does it always have to be black? Mm. There's more colors than black, you know. You don't have to go to wear the first outfit, the first suit you're going to buy is always black. It can be charcoal. Yeah. It can be gray you know it can be navy blue there's so many shades of blue you know uh, it's like the blue that i was showing you it doesn't have yeah to i love that blue yes you can go to you know what, and, what would you call that blue is there uh, like a color name or mediterranean blue i don't ah, know for the blue, okay I call it the mediterranean blue and then you know you can go in especially the summer you know go for something that is um yeah let me just zoom in yeah Beautiful. And look at how I, I kind of like changed the shirt. We kind of have the shirt with, instead of wearing a tie, we yeah. changed the color of the buttons. Instead of white, we got... Ah, oh, yeah. So it's so trendy. You can just wear this with khakis. That's the beauty of custom, right? Yes. Oh, I love it. And throw in a little pocket square, you know, just to... I don't have a pocket square, so I'm just like throwing a Kleenex there. Oh, but see, like even just that, like just a little white pop, right? Just, oh, what a difference it makes. It does. Just that and that. I love and that. You can wear the matching um, matching pants with a jacket in the day when you have to go to work, wear a tie, which is fine. But in the evening, throw the tie away, open this up. Yeah. This, yeah. And then wear khakis at the bottom. Um, oh, I love that look. That's perfect for summer too, right? Yeah. A lighter shade lighter and it's not even you know that's the other thing we got to watch out for the lining of the mm. shirt. But summer you don't have to have it fully lined because it's oh, just look at that yes so this is half lined you know so uh, the inside is not even tricky. that's good for all of us in the dallas fort worth area oh yes all our hot <laughs> hot summers how cute is that actually i like that blue even that dark blue in the back very background of yours like oh, yeah. uh the checkered yeah the grayish blue. Oh, that's on the, the poster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool too. You see nice. his? Yep. 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 There. there we go. Ah. What were you gonna show us? Sorry. No, I was just gonna show you that's a typical navy blue essential, you know, an essential piece. Everybody, you know, 
I, you know, everybody should have invested on a, a typical um, navy blue um, jacket because you always wear this with a pair of jeans. And again, I've got the buttons. Check out the buttons. Oh yes, a little <laughs> pop of color. Even the the thread is blue. Yes, even the threading is blue. Even the button is blue. So again, when you wear a tie over this, it covers it. But throw the tie out. And yeah. in the evening, on the weekends, just wear the blue, wear the shirt with a pair of jeans. Love that. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. I love men's fashion. It's <laughs> and it's easy. Men, yes. are so sorry, ladies. I'm not, you know, saying that you, you, you're not simple, but the men is, you know, a pair of pants. Jacket. Yeah, well, you, you had a list of essentials for us, right? Yes, Let's yes I do. So guys, Take a snapshot of this. Uh, let me share this. This is your list of essentials for guys. Yeah. yeah. And I said that a navy blue solid suit to have, yeah. uh, a gray solid suit to have, four shirts, four blue shirts, four white shirts, uh, mm. and a couple of striped shirts or check shirts, you know, and yeah. solid pattern sports jacket, you know, a love sports jacket. Um, and versatile five pocket pants. That means that's like a khaki. Okay. And a great fitting pair of denim jeans. Again, no fades, no rips, and no stains. Yeah. You know? Oh gosh, yes. Absolutely. And make sure it's paper. Make make sure it's slim cutting. No baggy. Okay. I gotta put that in. No baggy jeans. Yeah, no baggy. <laughs> I would I would second that vote. <laughs> baggy jeans. Oh, look at this. We had one user. My husband confiscated my no-show socks. <laughs> uh, Mike says, my wife likes tapered and shorter. So I now have slimmer, tapered, and shorter yes. pants. Ah. So yes, Hannes is saying exactly what you, uh, Arlene is saying, Mike. Yes. <laughs> Listen to your wife. Listen to your wife. Oh, oh, this is a good question. Hey, Len. Hi, Len Santiago. Um, he says, how about shine of your shoes um, before interview? Is there such a thing as too shiny or uh, not enough? Like, any no. tips around shoes and how much to shine them? I, I'm a fanatic when it comes to shoes. When I look at a man, the first thing I look is his, uh, his shoes first. Because ah. I can tell a lot about a man by looking at his shoes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, right. tell us tell us a secret. What what can no, you tell from yeah, someone's shoes? You can tell when a man doesn't keep their shoes clean and it's scruffy and they don't polish it and they don't they just just don't look good, you know. Mm. And I can tell like he is not very well organized, is not, you know, keeping up really well for himself. And when a guy walks around with shoes that are nicely polished, not too shiny, you're not gonna show anything. I mean, like, why do you need it to have it so shiny? Just make sure it's clean and it's well and it has nice soul, is a proper soul, not like the soul is half gone, you know. Just keeping up with your shoes. I'm, I'm sure you guys are very well with it. I mean, when you yeah, they 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 keep their shoes very well. I know they're they're guys yeah. that do that. So not too shiny. Just make sure it's clean. Yeah, it's not clean. Stuffed up. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, we got a we got a tip from Tom Sweet. He says use sapphire, sapphire, sapphire shoe polish. I don't. Did I pronounce that right, Tom? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's. I think. Thank my you, Tom. Good too. tip. Yes. Very good tip. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Are there any more tips? Oh, well, that's the end of the slide. Yes. Yeah, okay. that's the end of the slide. But one thing I just like to remind the guys, like uh, sometimes I know that these guys they travel and yeah. they bring a, a a suit with them to travel, and especially being a black suit that they wear, yes. and they feel like, oh, it wrinkles a little. And they get the iron and they start pressing on it, and they don't realize that when you press on an, uh, a fabric, it gets shiny. Oh you yes, know, it gets shiny. So beware about that. So what's yeah. a? I've seen people like they put like towels on top yeah. or like a thin. Oh, that, correct. Mm -hmm. Or okay. you you know, iron it inside out, you know, okay. uh, from the inside. That's that's what I we usually do. Okay. But if you awesome. buy clothes that have great fabrics, you don't really have to iron them. Right. So, yeah. Okay. 
Awesome. Oh my gosh. These are all great tips. What do you think audience? <laughs> Make sure you ask, finish asking all your questions to be entered in for our prize giveaways. It's not often we get a, such a stylist on the show and to give us all these great fashion tips. So put your comments or put your questions into the comments below. And in the meantime, one of the things that you know, I'm super passionate about, Hannes, is content creation, yes. right? And you're all over the place, right? You're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Why do you think it's so important um, from your perspective um, yeah. to build a personal brand? Oh, yeah, it's so important, Fanny. I mean, like, I would like to create an awareness and let people know um, about my services as a J, uh, J. Hoban's fashion stylist, a personal mm -hmm. stylist and, you know, engagement with people. Um, you know, I need to uh, uh, be engaged with my audience, you know, whether it's on Facebook or whether it's on LinkedIn. Uh, my target audience is the young professional and business uh, executive. So, yeah. so I would always have good content. It's not about selling. I'm not selling, you know, yeah. I'm giving advice, you know? Yeah. I mean, so much of it, you know, whether people buy or not, so much of it is just broad and great, great styling advice. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, I, I think, think that's true for all content, right? Yeah. Like no matter what you're selling or what you're promoting, your content has to be about being in service and creating value for your audience as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And building a relationship with your audience too. You Absolutely. Know? And that's so important for me. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. We haven't talked about um, ties real quick. Just going back to ties, where should the end of your tie land? Okay. It should land on the buckle. You know, where your buckle of your uh, belt is, it should yeah. end should end there okay in the middle of that buckle it shouldn't be anything above that is too short below that is too long got it so you need to remember there you go john <laughs> great tip that buckle. oh cameron hey cameron nice to see you in there cameron's all the way in new york um he he says i'm currently losing weight what should <laughs> i do with the older shirts that are now loose fitting throw it away Call mm -hmm. me. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> get it off there. Go to a tailor, and if you mm -hmm. have old shirts that needs to be because you lost so much weight, you get them altered to yeah. your size now. Because fit matters. Fit is everything for a man. When a guy have all these clothes in the closet, and they're half of that he doesn't even wear because why? It doesn't fit. Yeah. They yeah. want to wear things that fit them, and it's important to have yeah. fit. So if you love it, get it altered. If not, Fanny had a great, uh, that's a cool way. He's also Fanny. <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing it right. Fanny had a good tip for Cameron, donate. Yes, yes. definitely, definitely. Okay, Len says, um, oh yeah. <laughs> he had a tip for fragrances and deodorants when going for interviews. Keep it very light or none at all. Yes. Yes. True. Yes. Absolutely. Nothing. <laughs> you don't want anything. people to smell you before they see you. <laughs> oh, I would just use yeah. me, go home, go take a shower, come back again. Because yeah, yeah some of those uh, colognes or perfumes can be so strong, you know, it's just, yeah. You don't oh my gosh. I still remember back in high school. Uh, <laughs> do you know what was popular? Drakkar Noir. Do you remember that cologne? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Who else oh, remembers wow. Drakkar Noir from like way back? <laughs> oh my god! Yes, yes, I remember was... those were like so is so strong and like back in high school the guys thought it was so cool to wear tons of it and yeah oh. it didn't work. <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah, and Cameron he says he does a daily show as well. That's true, and he says he's noticing the difference between well fitting and loose shirts. Yes, it makes all the difference. Yeah. Um, Maria has a good question. Um, lady shoes are sandals acceptable for summer office wardrobe or for interviews? But what do you think? She says she personally doesn't wear them, but could adopt a trend if it's okay. 
Well, it depends on what kind of sandals. Some some of these sandals these days are very well done. It's sandals, but in a wedge form, which is, it, it looks like a heel. It's more wedgy, you know, like yeah. it has all back and a, a little platform. Or if you have sandals that are with heels, by all means, wear them, but yeah. not sandals that are flat, like as if you're going to the beach, you know, yeah. that, I don't think you should be wearing that. Absolutely. Yes. And then uh, this is a good point, Elizabeth. Thank you. So for those of you in the audience that are younger or that are just starting out your career, right? I mean, we're, I still remember, like I used to work for Arthur Anderson, one of the big five accounting firms, and it was like drilled into us. Like there was a whole dress code of what we could and could not wear to a client site. So it was always about being super professional but sometimes like our, our audience is younger and not used to dressing for work, right? Yeah. Um, why? Why do you think it's so important for people to dress for success, Hannes? Um, it, you know, when a man wears clothes that fit them, you can see the change in his demure and they get so confident. When you wear something that fit, that looks good, mm. you walk tall, you walk like a yeah. model, you look like he's walking on a runway. Yeah. You know, when yeah. you know that you're close. So it fit. boisters confidence too, yeah, I think. Yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah. And, you know, I'm all for people like, like I say, every time if you have an interview, look at your clothes, you know, remember no stains, no wrinkles, make sure they fit you, go yeah. get it altered. You know, yeah. you don't have to spend a lot of money to buy expensive clothes. Yeah. They can fit you well. Well, here's a here's a question. Like, if if they are more into more casual clothes, let's say, is there a way or a good balance to balance between casual but still professional looking? Like, what is that fine line? You think? Um, jeans is a no no if you're gonna mm. go to work with jeans. Yeah. So I think a, a tailored pants or tailored chinos and a nice, good fitting shirt, a long sleeve shirt to go to work. You know, mm. whether it's uh, a check shirt or whether it's stripe or whether it's just plain white, you know, yeah. um, it will look good if if you are, if it's pressed well, if it looks well, if it fits you well, everything looks neat. You know, I don't see, you know, there's any other reason for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think, but what if a person has like jeans and then a sport coat for work? Do yeah. you think that would work? That would work too. I mean, again, mm. like we say, jeans, what kind of jeans? Do you have yeah. faded raggy jeans? Or is your jeans a nice deep denim blue, the blue, the really nice one color solid blue? Yeah. You know, denim. yeah. No, black. no more acid wash. No, no <laughs> Remember more. when acid wash was it <laughs> popular? No more oh. red. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Hannes, like I, I we're gonna have to go through some of these comments and see like <laughs> yeah and look through like all the questions um so maybe you can help me do that and flip through the comments and just pick out all the names because I think we're gonna have to enter people into a draw um okay. to see you know who because we got tons of comments and questions which I absolutely love um but for those of you that did ask a question Hannes is just going to look through the comments now to pick out all your names. We're going to do a draw. Oh, why don't you share th what the prizes are first? You want to? Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, where are they? Okay, what I'm going to show one of two, two or three of the prizes. If I can open this box, I love it. You're the first guest with prize. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. So it's um, this is the box. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful top. Ooh, I was talking nice. about size earlier. Yeah, yeah. That. And then uh, that comes in two colors. And we have this uh, wonderful, gorgeous looking wallets here. I can't even I can't take it out. This is, I hear all the bubble of wrap. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oops. Okay, wherever it is. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, yes. Over. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to be announcing the winners of five winners of these prizes. So now, I how are we doing, Hannes? I have been having a hard time trying to find 
um, I just can't get this connection. I only see. Oh, OK, your no worries. Um, let me see here. So we have. Let's see. We have Elizabeth asked yes. a question. Yeah. Maria. Mm -hmm. Cameron. Correct. Len Santiago. Yeah. Um, going and back. That's all the names that we have. And then, oh, Mike Rochelle. So Mike. And then uh, Chuck. Okay. And then... Oh, Fanny had a question. We didn't get to this question. During interviews and Zoom calls, what angle of camera and how much should we present ourselves? Half body, full body, so forth. That's a that's, question. Question. That's a great question. So during a Zoom call, a lot of times when I look at everybody else that are coming in during a Zoom call, some of them have their camera right down on the table where you, <laughs> you literally, you, you, you look at a double chin here. We don't want to see the chins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. So it's important to put your device up on a book, uh, pile up a couple of books yeah. or boxes together and get your, um, just right by the chest and where your head is just, enough that you could like literally see my eyes yeah. if you're too far away you're just like hello where are you looking at you know so i think it's important to be uh to have your device at eye level and look at look in the camera okay sorry can you turn down the uh, volume on your phone i think it's coming through yeah um okay so we had fanny had a question and then we got elizabeth already right um yes you got a list had oh debbie put yeah, down debbie. debbie uh we also had steve madsen steve mm -hmm. and small yes and monica mm -hmm. and i think that's it let me know if we didn't call out your name. You must be present to win. Right? Yes. Awesome. Because some, some people ask several questions, so that's awesome. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you. Okay. So you want to rip up? Do you want to draw five names from yeah. that list? Okay. I'm going to draw it, and this is... Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Madden. Is Steve, Steve Madden. Yes. Steve Madden? Steve. Yes. Okay. Yes. Woo Steve. Oh, okay. Throw in John Broody as well. John. I forgot him in the original list. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Pick another name. Okay. Here we go. Cameron? Cameron. Congrats, Cameron. <laughs> So we got Steve, Cameron. Okay, three more prizes to and give away. Mike, this Mike, Mike, Mike Rochelle. Yes, Mike. awesome. And the other one is what's this? Monica. Monica. Oh, congrats, Monica. One, two, three, awesome. Four. That four or four? And then one last name. Okay, here it is. The last one, Chuck. Chuck. Ooh. Woo. Ooh. Awesome. Congratulations. We got Steve, Cameron, Mike, Monica, and Chuck. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us on this fun, fun show. Thank you, Hannes, for Thank everyone. You. Please connect with her. You can find her on LinkedIn, Facebook, <laughs> uh, Instagram. She's on all the platforms. Are you on TikTok? No, I don't do that. <laughs> you don't do the like the I dance. Do I'm not that crazy. Uh, yeah. So everyone, please connect with Hannes Hussey and please join me in thanking her. Thank you for all the wonderful fashion tips. And at the end of the day, I think when we when we look our best and when we're our shining self, it you know that confidence comes through and. Um, and that's how we share ourselves with the world. Absolutely, Fanny. Well, thank yeah. you so much for inviting me. 
I am here and it's been so much fun. We have so much fun and it's yeah. Been fun. Oh, one last question. I always ask each guest. Okay. What are you grateful for, Hannes? Oh, wow. With all these things happening, this craziness, I'm so mm -hmm. grateful and blessed to have healthy family, you know, friends. Yeah. Um, so grateful to be, to still have a job, to, you know, to, to be working still. I'm, I'm with an awesome company and, you know, my, my business is still running even through this pandemic, you know, yeah. there's awesome uh, group to work with and I wish everybody the same. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for everyone out there, if you need more styling tips, please <laughs> connect with Hannes. If you love those custom made clothing, you know, connect with her. It really does matter. I think it just falls so nicely. And um, as I like to finish every session, I want to remind you all to shine your light and share your gifts with the world and share your expertise with the world. And um, I think it will make everything um, and everyone a better place. So share yourself with the world through video. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in this week.